guys welcome back to my channel and if you're new to this channel welcome my name is Nancy how's everybody doing I hope all is well with you and your families well I'm doing well today but if I'm to tell you what happened this week you'll be like mm. yeah so it started on uh, 4th of July guys which is the US independence it was on a Monday so I wake up you know when you wake up I don't know about you but when I you know you you, you know yourself when you feel good or you're feeling like uh, like your excitement or your sad it's like a feeling that comes when you wake up so I wake up and I I don't feel my, like I don't feel like I'm myself. I, I feel like this heavy weight of sadness over me. So I'm like, okay, let me carry on with what I do every morning, do my devotional. So in my devotional, my mind was not settling. Like I was just like sad, like just sad. And I didn't know why I'm sad. So I'm like, mm, it's not that time of the month, is it? Because I, you know, that just passed. So that cannot be the case. So what is it? So I was just like, oh, I don't know. So I just felt this weight on me and I'm like, oh, God, help me. But you know, what I've noticed is when you say, oh, God, help me. And you're not aligning yourself with what you're asking. It seems like my own uh, feelings were aligning with what my flesh was telling me instead of going within to see to seek God and ask exactly what the matter was but I didn't do that I just was like oh, okay God help me and then I continued with my devotional it did nothing clicked really it, it became like a ritual like a habit thing you know how when something is a habit now it, it, it doesn't bring uh, value whatsoever so so it became I didn't understand what I was doing no more so I just did it just to do it you know I finished that and then this heaviness wouldn't leave me so I'm like oh, what is it so I said, you know what, I, I just felt agitated, frustrated for no reason. And then uh, I said, you know what, instead of me feeling this way on 4th of July, let's go to see those fireworks, you know. Um, at first, you know, I wasn't interested going to see fireworks. But then even my husband wasn't interested to go and see the fireworks. But I said, you know what, if I sit in this this uh whatever emotion i'm feeling i'm just going to be more miserable on this fourth of july so i said okay let me go so we went to fourth of july uh event in downtown and it went well everything went well it was okay but that heaviness that spirit of heaviness wouldn't leave so i said okay <laughs> okay so Monday passed. I said, okay, we'll shake it off. Uh, Tuesday came. Same thing. Now my eye was reacting now. I'm like, Ugh. it's not even allergy season. It's so hot. There's no pollen out there. So what's going on? So my, my husband asked me, well, do you have those feathers again on your eyes? He calls those lashes feathers. <laughs> I said no I don't even put lashes uh, uh, in summer it's too hard for me so I don't even bother myself putting lashes because you'll be sweating now I won't be sweating so I said no I don't even know what it is so I'm like okay whatever that spirit again that heaviness again was on me I was sad now it, I started crying you know in my uh, devotional time just crying like I don't know what it is uh, am, I, am I stressed what's going on I couldn't put one and two together so I'm like okay I don't know I couldn't shake it off so on that night on I uh, know yeah in the evening for dinner
Christina, uh, I said, okay, let me buy me some those real fish. Well, not to say there's no real fish, like live fish. I don't know if it makes sense. Where you go choose, like, I want that fish, I want that fish, you know. <sighs> Pay attention to the food because the food has everything to do with with why uh, I was feeling this way you I'll tell you at the end so I buy the fish I cook the fish it was really good um, my kids loved it my husband loved it we ate the fish on Tuesday then was Wednesday came ah, this thing won't leave I'm like what is something wanna happen you know you I, I I was like, oh God, I don't know. Is something want to happen? Is there something bad want to happen? Or what? Because my heart now was starting to like, it would beat fast and then stop. Beat fast and then stop. I'm like, hey, do I want to have an, an uh, anxiety attack now? Uh, is this a panic attack? But why? Why would I want to have a panic attack? Is there something that I'm still uh, protecting inside me that is hurting? Why would I have a panic attack? What, what am I afraid of now? You know, I was just going in my mind. Mind you, I still was just doing my devotional. Now it's the devotionals be was more like a, um, a ritual thing now because nothing was really sinking because my feelings had overtaken me my my flesh was was the master now so I was just doing just just for the routine of doing stuff so I was like okay yeah then I said okay I don't know what it is but the funny thing is I was uh, from Monday to Wednesday, I kept on going through my phone like I was expecting a phone call or a message. Like it was more like a conscious thing, like just going through my, my, my WhatsApp. And I didn't know why I'm just going through my WhatsApp. Like my phone had gone a uh, ghost on me. No messages, no phone call from any friend, no not even a message from my husband. Like I used to like he sometimes you just take you know in a day you text something uh, but no there was nothing I'm like wow I feel very lonely and you want to talk to somebody but I don't know what it maybe it's that self um, self sabotage thing because I always like oh people are busy people are working people don't want to be weighed down with your problems so you know I didn't I want you know you would want to call but you just feel like oh you don't want to stress people people have enough problems of their own so i was like oh, no i'm not gonna call anyone but then you go into this poor poor me like nobody even called no one is calling me no one is checking up on me what's going on so i just felt like my phone had gone ghost on me like there was nothing nothing that you know no messages that i wanted to see we not there. Even my friend who usually texts me like um, encouraging um, sermons or scripture, nothing. I was like, oh wow, God, what is it? And I just like, okay. Thursday came. Oh, Wednesday for dinner, I cooked spaghetti and uh, uh, means uh, you call ground beef. We call it minced meat, ground beef with spaghetti. I cooked it, and it was good. Test they came. I said, okay, you know, this thing has to shake off now. This is too much. But then my heart started doing this, the same thing, like hit uh, a bit fast, then stop, bit fast, and stop. I was like, uh, -uh not an anxiety attack. No way, devil. No way. No way, we're not gonna do this again. What is it? What is wrong with me? But it seems like I was asking God what is wrong with me, yet I didn't give 
time to listen what what God was telling me what was wrong with me so I would ask God what is wrong with me but yet I was not listening I was listening to the flesh so the more I asked God what is wrong with me what's going on why am I sad why my heart is starting to beat fast like I want to have anxiety why am I just so I feel like I'm being pulled by some strange forces like like something is pulling me down why am I scrolling on and off on my phone like I'm expecting a message what's going on um, the answer did not come that Thursday so I was like okay I kept feeling I started breaking out like I don't know if it is I started breaking out on my face now like I'm like oh this, this is too much oh what what is going on okay you know so that made the stuff worse because I was like I'm breaking out my eye is acting up uh, it's not going down I don't know what it is you know nobody's calling I can't even call nobody because I already I already self sabotaged myself that people are busy people don't want to be bothered if they wanted to talk to you they would have text so hey no so that is already happening so I was like okay now Friday came that's when I like no I'm not gonna go into this weekend feeling this way I don't wanna make everybody around me miserable because I am sad I don't even know why I'm sad I don't even know I'm frustrated why I'm upset why I feel agitated irritated by everything so in my devotional time I poured my heart I was like, God, what is it, Lord? Help me. What is it? What's going on? I don't even know. I can't even pray. When I open my mouth to pray, it seems like I'm I'm stuck somewhere, like something is blocking me or something. I just poured my heart to the Lord. I said, no, there's, there's something there. There's something and I can't, I just don't know what it is. Help me, help me. You know, I was just praying, 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 praying. And then, when I said, uh, amen, this is the most, you know, it happens to me. That's when, you know, I don't know how God talks to you, but how God talks to me is through either. It's, 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 it's so you, it's different, guys. Like, I can't explain it. I don't hear God, I don't even know God's voice, but the way God talks to me is through my uh, my old messages, the, the, my, through people saying something or in a conversation or through the, my own writing, which I wrote maybe three, five years ago, or um, in numbers or something like that the way that that's how he talks to me so when i said amen i looked at the time it's the most fascinating thing i looked at the time to check okay because i was thinking oh my goodness the time the time i might be late doing what i need to be doing now because it's in the morning i looked at the time guys and the time was 7 27 in the morning And my spirit, you know, when, when, I don't know, it's like when you know something, like, it's like, <laughs> I can't explain it, guys. I just can't explain it. So anyway, I saw 727 on the, on, on my uh, computer. That was the time. And then the light bulb just went on. I was like, oh my goodness. 727 somehow my spirit then I then discerned on what my spirit was telling me my mind then discerned what my spirit was telling me 7 we are in, in July I was like 7 is July the month of July 27 so I said July 27 and then the, the light bulb went up I was like oh my god that's the day my mom passed away so I was like okay so if she passed on July 27, why then am I feeling like I'm stressed, like I want to have a panic attack and all that? 
then it dawned on me that my body was reacting to the news that was about to come like it's it, it, i was reacting the same way exactly last year the way i like i can't explain it like my body went back like my body went back to the past guys everything went back so it was like i'm reliving through to the events that happened on july 27. so it's like i was my my my, my mind was preparing me for the bad news on july 27 to live again in that sadness i was like wow lord to god be the glory you know as much as I, I can't explain it but it just made sense like wow so i'm in the month of july so my body was now just reacting to uh, to expect uh, to like more like creating defense or something like that so to the news that i was going to receive so it wanted it was making me live again in that moment back in the past so once i had the name for it I just say I praise God I say pray, praise you Lord praise you Lord when you ask you will answer it's just maybe when he answer we are not listening or I am not listening maybe he was answering but I was not paying attention I was just paying attention to what my flesh was doing my emotions and all that so when he answered it was like wow thank you Jesus praise the lord so the, the from that moment it's like the heaviness just like departed from me i just started praising god i just was so relieved i was relieved i felt myself again i just you know you started you know like you know what i turned that thing because i had a name i turned the sadness to to joy by just saying you know what i'm just gonna remember my mom and uh by remembering the good times we had so it now going back to the foods it made sense now why i cooked fish that was my, my mom's favorite uh dish she loved fish why i did the spaghetti thing that was her favorite on thursday why did i uh cook what did i cook on thursday I don't know something that was my favorite mom's what did i cook on thursday i did spaghetti means i did a fish on tuesday spaghetti means on uh wednesday thursday what did i cook on thursday what did i cook on thursday what did i cook on thursday i don't know but all the dishes i was cooking was my mom's favorite and then on friday i said i'm gonna bake my mom loved to bake so with me and my daughter my younger daughter we went in this baking thing we baked some cake some cupcakes and so i just so i was just it's like my spirit was giving me a uh, was telling was telling me why i fell down but my flesh was blocking me by my emotions so my mind couldn't discern to what i was doing because if i had paid attention why do i want to cook this fish like this or why do i want to cook spaghetti like this i could have got it on tuesday but no i was busy i was just so caught up in my flesh in my emotions that it just passed me and all the water whatever i was doing was just passing me by it, it, it's just an amazing thing i just learned something just to to when you're going through something if you ask god to help you in that situation just make sure you pay attention and uh, be in expectant of the answer be in that expectant of that answer because he will be giving you the answer but your emotions can block that answer if you are if you are not in your full in your full awareness yeah guys so you really i learned that uh sometimes god allows us to go through this uh emotional turmoil or three through to go through these uh, ups and downs so that we can trust him completely because maybe you 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 may be in a 
position where you trust him in some things and don't trust him in some other things you just have to let go let go totally of control and just trust him in everything and if you have a parent or parents that transitioned you just have to uh, accept what it is uh, because the more you resist the truth or be in denial that your loved one is gone uh, it seems uh, your emotions can easily take over so I learned that grieving is a lonely lonely journey especially uh, the ones that hit you unexpectedly like you were not expecting the person to die one minute you are talking you are laughing the next day you hear the person is gone just like that that can be traumatizing really it can be a trauma and that journey alone is really it can hit you really hard so what i've learned uh through this journey that's because that's the way my mom went to be with the lord it was just we were not expecting it one minute she was well recovering already recovered and doing well then the next day she's gone and i think when you resist uh that the person is gone i think it creates suffering inside you start stressing you start uh having these little episodes of depression because it's like you you don't want to come in terms that the person is gone but the minute you come in terms that the the, the, the your loved one is gone it makes the journey easier in that journey also uh, it will look like everyone disappeared and you are by yourself and if you have siblings it will look like everyone disappears and you are just you and your siblings and sometimes yes it's like that but also because your pain is so much it can also cloud the people who are trying to reach out to you so but if you are in a position where everybody uh, deserted you then it's if you have friends uh, loving friends it's good to reach out to those friends especially especially those friends that have gone through a loss like yours those friends will lift you up they will have a word the right word at the right time but uh, through it all I've learned that the, the number one person to reach out to whose father and mother to the motherless to the fatherless is God to be honest like I said in this story I, I had to go back again to, to remind myself when you ask God help me um, revive me or uh, rescue me you have to be in that expectant mode to be helped but if you say help me revive me yet you are distracted by something else you won't see the help that's what happened to me this this week i was saying help me rescue me lord i don't know what i'm feeling but yet i was busy with my emotions entertaining them and i failed to see the the signs the help and all that it also is when now i know that when i am agitated frustrated i now have mastered that my ego is has uh, is trying to take over or has already taken over so that's so good that if you know yourself you know mm, this is the ego now taking over you know and you just have to train yourself to to be in that awareness of yourself like what's going on with you Anyways, guys this is it for this video uh i couldn't even come up with my next story because i was so much drowned in my emotions so <laughs> hopefully next week i will have uh, a story for you guys but uh well thank you for watching and i hope you have a blessed week i'll see you next time